I remember, as a child, falling asleep to the sounds of tree frogs. They seemed like old friends. I never thought about what it would be like if they were gone. But I should. There is a deadly disease that has swept the world that may silence the voices of my old childhood companions forever. It has a long and strange name, Chytridiomycosis dendrobatitis, and it is killing off hundreds of species of frogs and amphibians all over the world. Scientists and environmental specialists use amphibians like miners once used birds like parakeets in mines. Parakeets could detect the presence of toxic gases long before humans could smell them. Amphibians also react to changes in environmental conditions such as toxins or other pollution harmful to humans before it becomes apparent to the people living in the area. Scientists in Australia first identified this fungus in the late 1970s and now believe it first occurred in Africa. But because it seemed to occur suddenly in many places during that time, it is still somewhat of a mystery. What isn't a mystery is where this fungus lives and what it does to frogs and other amphibians like toads, salamanders, and newts. This is very real. The fungus enters the body of the frog through its skin and multiplies inside the middle layers of the skin. Since amphibians like frogs breathe and drink through their skin, if enough of the skin is affected, the frog cannot breathe or drink properly and it can weaken and die. Some species have been completely destroyed they are extinct. Many other species around the world are in grave danger. However, there is hope. Through the work of tireless veterinarians and researchers in zoos around the world, the most endangered species are being brought into safe areas and treated to eradicate the fungus, which is possible in a controlled environment. The hope is that one day, when a way to destroy the fungus is found and the fungus is eradicated, the species can be reintroduced into the wild. And when I think about how still and lonely the night might be without my old childhood friends, the tree frogs, I promise myself to learn more and do what I can so that my nights are always full of songs.